Uh, welcome everybody. Uh, we are Human Magnet and uh, before we get talking a little bit to, to help us get going, there's a little bit of a lag. Um, if you can give us some suggestions as to um, a piece of advice that you recently received. Um, and so while we're waiting on those to come out, I'm going to just explain a little bit about what you guys are going to see tonight. We're going to be doing uh, a deconstruction. Um, it's a, a, a format where we're going to start out with a grounded scene with two people. Um, it goes a little bit long, um, so expect that. Uh, don't get nervous that it keeps going on. And then everything that happens after that will be inspired by that first scene. And we're going to break down that relationship, break down what we see, um, and uh, give you a good show that's all based around that, that first scene. So uh, it looks like some suggestions are coming in. Um, let's go with uh, Just Pivot. Just Pivot. So, human magnet with the deconstruction. I don't know. I keep trying different startup ideas, but none of them really seem to work out. Gidget. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Like, I'm not having any luck either. And I'm an entrepreneur. And it's just, you know, it's tough out here in these streets. Yeah, I thought being an entrepreneur was gonna be exciting and fun. And like, I get to do my own thing. But right. It's like, actually really stressful right it's like conforming and it's not cool if you're not um profiting right yeah and now i have to worry about making sure that people who work for me get paid a lot Stress is a management too, right? Like, so your dreams were this, but you got this over here. Yeah. It's not really what I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I feel you. I don't know. It's never too late to just up and uproot and change yourself, you know, change your whole life. I know, but mom and dad, they gave me some of their retirement so I could start this venture. And I don't want to disappoint them. Gidget, forget what your parents think at all. It doesn't even matter. I guess you're right. You know, you've been a really good mentor. Thank you. Appreciate I mean, it. You've started a lot of businesses. Seven. I just wish one of mine would actually go somewhere. Look, Gidget. You got to believe in yourself and you have to have a good idea. Look, I believe in you, but some of your ideas have been really like shark tank, thumbs down. Yeah. So, you know, you got to accept that feedback from others and you know, don't, don't put up the wall. Like, yeah. I guess it's like you always say, just pivot. Just, you know, life shoots tennis balls at you, like whack it back. Yeah. Just whack it back. You're pretty good at that, like in general, like you're pretty good at you know, give them blowback, but not to your parents. Like, 
you don't want to disappoint yeah your your top funders which i understand okay fine i guess i will just change the entire concept of my company instead of a restaurant where you can hit golf balls I'll change it to a restaurant where you can rollerblade Exactly. Like, this is where I got to stop. You're like, this is really not a great idea. Gidge. I'm going to tell it how it is. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to just, I'm going to bring it straight. And I'm going to be honest with you. You're getting it like I see it. Like no filter, it, it, it may hurt, it may not feel good, but I'm coming at you with truth bombs. Yep. If I see a two-faced rat face sucker, hey, that's what I'm gonna tell you what I see. Yeah. If you're all dressed up, ready to go to the prom and you got your tux and you're as proud as can be, but I think you don't look good. I'm going to ruin your night with honesty. I am just going to bring it and tell you and give it truthful. Yeah. I'm going to do. And if you have two rat faces, I'm going to call you out and I'm going to let you know you're a two faced rat faced sucker. If you're on your wedding day and I don't like your bride, you just got married. And you're ecstatic, and I could ruin the whole day and the rest of your life for you. That is not going to stop me. No way. I'm coming full bore with the truth. Boom. And if I have a rat trap, boy, life isn't what I thought it would be. Yeah. I thought life was going to be easy. Right? But life, life is hard. It's hard. I know. Like, I thought that things were going to be easy, and then I lived them, and they're not. Yeah. It's really not. It, there's just so much stress. Yeah. What's with all the stress? Ugh. With all the stress. Like, why is it so difficult? Life. Not as easy as you thought it would be. So, Gidge, like... I just have to say, like, you got the funds, but not, like, the business mind sometimes. You know, I just have to, you know, just I just need to call it like it is. Yeah. I appreciate that about you. I just wish it wasn't so hard to have a profitable business. Well, if it was easy, like everyone would. Yeah, but I didn't think it would be that hard. Like, they say anyone can be an entrepreneur. Well, anyone can, but they can't be a successful entrepreneur. Look, I'm just calling it like, like it is. Like, you know, Todd's Deli, that lasted two years. 
belly up. Yeah. Hey, I want to run something by you. I've been working on it. Yeah. What if I made seltzer that had caffeine in it? Mmm. I like it. You got the Gen Z seltzer effect. And then, like, everyone wants caffeine. If you could add alcohol, I think it would be, like, there's your mix. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Maybe we could call it Caffeine. No. Okay, listen. The baby is cute and all, but I have to tell you like it is. It's, 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 I say it's cute, but it's actually ugly. I'm just, I got it. I got to be honest. <laughs> Look at him. He's just making ugly faces. He's not really ugly. That's just what babies do. Okay. Um, I Look, as the mom, I know you always think your kid is adorable, but I gotta tell you like it is. Your kid is weird looking. Oh. He's got Mike's nose in my eyes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He sure does. <laughs> And we're gorgeous, girl. Look at him. Oh, look at him. Yeah, all those selfies of yours that I like on Facebook. <clears throat> hey. Cute kid. It's okay. Man, I really didn't think it would be this hard to be the president. Man, man, they say it's the most difficult job in the world. Every other person that, that's had it has gone from healthy looking to old and frail within a matter of two years. I thought you just like got the job and then you just signed some papers. Uh, and that's hang, it. Hang on one minute, ma'am. Ma'am, they need you to make a decision on whether to launch a, a military strike in order to rescue um, some dogs that, that, that are trapped out in the Suez Canal. It, it's a life or death decision. They, they need you to make it right now. I don't know. I mean, it's like a really hard decision. It, it, it's a really hard decision. She's thinking about it. Can't someone else just decide? Hmm. Let's see. Oh, you know, I'm glad you came in my office. I have something I really need to tell you, Bob. Okay. You know that report that you submitted today? Um, it wasn't what I asked for, but you know, um, I'm trying to um, drop this lately. Uh, Bob, I'm going to have to fire you. Why? I, that was the global effects of industrialism in the Eastern Caribbean. Like, yes, yes, I vouch I know. for my work. Yes, I know. But, you know, I've been told by my boss that I have to start telling it like it is. So you're fired. What? I spent two months on that paper, Carla. I. Yeah. I refuse to be fired. 
Ooh, he didn't tell me how to tell you that. Um, okay, uh, you're let fired. Me tell you, let me tell you like I see it. I see you catering to a man who knows nothing of his business. So why don't you take that back to him? Why don't we reverse it, Carla? Oh, okay, I, I guess. Reverse it, Carla. So, 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 sweetie, it just parents' weekends. All, all I ever thought. Thanks, thanks for 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 for, for bringing me here. Of course. Here's here's five dollars for you to yes. spend at the cafeteria, and now that now that I've given you five dollars mm -hmm. as your dad, yeah, I am now entitled to tell you how to live your life. I don't. I don't remember that being the the deal. Uh, it's the deal. I, I give you money. I'm your parent. I'm financing you. And now I have complete authority over over your life. In fact, I'm going to pack up. I don't like your roommate, so I'm just going to, you know. What? I I don't. You can't just kick my roommate out. That, that's not. Oh, I'm moving you. I'm moving you. I'm moving you back back home. Are you. I. I what? gave you $5. I we're gave five you $5. States. Dad, we're five states away. You can't make me move back home. I can't commute like that. Dad, the vending machine had too many choices. I need to know specifically what to get with this dollar twenty-five you gave me. Oh, my gosh. I can either get a Kit Kat, yeah. even, a Mound, even with, even with or Jimmy? Cheetos. You're doing this even with Jimmy. You know, I, I, yes. That, again, Jimmy I gave him a dollar twenty-five. Jimmy, I made it very clear. I wanted you to I'm get. Hungry. I wanted you to get the crackle. The crackle. There's no crackle. I just told you there's mounds, and two other things. Jimmy, can get the mounds, okay? I'm your dad. I gave you the dollar twenty-five. Getting get it. The mounds. But listen, make all these decisions for us, Dad. Sweetie, I gave you five dollars. Okay, it was very clear. Okay, I need to be able to live my own life. Yes, you can live your own life. Just it's the way I tell you to live it. <sighs> Caroline, as your second grade teacher. I want to let you know that you have been doing very poorly in my class. Thank you, Mrs. Green. That paper you wrote was complete trash. I know. Uh, Mrs. Green, my, my daughter just, she texted me under the table. W what are you doing telling a, a second grader that her work is trash? I just think it's important to be honest about these things. She's a second yeah. grader. She's a second grader. Dad, she's being honest with me. I wrote it in five minutes. I just didn't tell you and mom. I knew it would be trash. A second grade teacher should be building you up so that you're capable of great things like being the president or running Amazon or being a chef, not tearing you down. Dad, Dad, it's mean in these streets. Hey, boss, uh, I hear you getting worked up. Uh, anything you need me to take care of? Louie, you're always, you're always taking care of things for me. The second grade teacher here, she's she's telling my little baby that her, her artwork is, is trash. It's, it's, it's not up to oh. standards for a second grader. All right. Miss Miss Carolyn Loveless, right? Yeah. 1400 Sycamore Lane. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. And I'm, I'm just going to say... Say it. Uh, 
okay, I guess caffeine wasn't the best name for yeah. a beverage. And that, you know, that was a hard lesson to learn, right? As many thousands of dollars of your parents' money that, like, you're not going to get back. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, you can reverse course, Gidget. You can reverse it, Gidget. Yeah. We can get you back on track. Okay. I think if my next idea doesn't succeed, I'm just going to give up and go back to a corporate job. Okay, but what you're going all in on your next idea? What is this next idea? It's a ski resort made out of sand. That's actually pretty good. Listen, Gidge, I just, I think I know your old problem. I like, I, I love you so much. I mean, you're an amazing, amazing friend. But your name is Gidget. Like, I'm just, I'm just gonna throw it out there. I don't know what your parents were thinking. I think that they just kind of shot you in the foot with that. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's hard to have people take you seriously with a name like that. I I feel for you. I, I really do. I just, I think that might be the real issue you've been dealing with your whole life. Yeah, people just aren't taking you seriously. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to go down these slopes, but the, I'm not going anywhere. The, 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 the sand doesn't want to seem to let me slide down. No, I'm, I'm pizzaing, but pizza doesn't work. I, I mean, I, I, I'm trying the, All right. the spaghetti maneuver that they taught us, and it's just. I'm going to do cheese see. wedge. I'm doing cheese wedge but, still. I, Oh my, that looks like a really good drink. You must have got it from that new place named Caffeine. Yeah, pretty uh, interesting. I, I, I couldn't help overhearing. It, is, is that from that new place, Caffeine? Yeah, it is. She says it's really interesting. Oh, it is. Look, I mean, look at it. It's fascinating. Yeah. Welcome to Caffeine. Can I take your order? Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm a little confused about the, the items here. It, it seems like everything is mixed with yeah. both caffeine and alcohol and seltzer water. Yeah, we have drip and rail. We have caffeine, drip, and we have rail. Oh, I'm, on, I'm on rollerblades! I'm gonna crash! Ah! Okay, I have finally decided what to do about the missile strike. Okay, Madam President, I've got like seven phones here. Everybody's waiting for your for your answer. She, she's about to make it. I don't want to do it. She says no. She says no. She says no. Hold on. Secretary of Labor just... I'm a, I'm a little bit late, but hey, she says no. Okay, go ahead, Madam President. She, she, she this is her assistant, uh, Assistant Deputy Chief uh, McGuire. Uh, she said no. 
okay, he doesn't seem very confident, but he says that she says no. No. God, I swear, just no matter what happens, I'm just always thirsty. You should really get that checked out. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just like working out all the time or if it's like just being outside all the time hey, or just the uh, energy. Pardon me. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just playing through from that uh, restaurant where they, they play golf. Don't mind me. <sighs> Carla, reverse it. Hey, uh, Mitch, I finally decided to quit my job. You're telling me this now? Yeah. Okay. And I want you to be my mentor. Uh, I want you to pull out of this driveway without falling through the culvert. But yeah, I will think about being your mentor. Okay. So reverse really, it, Carla. Okay. I'm really excited. We're going to do awesome things. I just know it. I'm worried about you, Carla. It's going to be fine. It's going to be awesome. We're going to have so many successful businesses. I just know it. Oh, I think you need to back that up a little bit. Maybe we'll try with one fully your business. And then um, maybe then we'll think about a joint venture. Okay, yeah. I even got my parents to invest. They're excited. Oh, nice. Oh, awesome. Yeah. And, <laughs> and that is our show. We are Human Magnet. Uh, everybody come on up. We'll introduce ourselves to you. And uh, I'm Steve. Gina. Craig. Christina. And Andrea. Thank and you. we just want to th thank you. We want to thank Highwire. And um, we'll turn it back over to them. Uh, thank you so much. Good night, everybody.